jog yourself in now. Ooh, that does feel good. Okay. To me, it does. Finn, you doing a? What is he doing? Background specialist. <laughs> what? Appearance. Finn. I, I can't see him. I can. He's behind you. Okay. No. Oh. Earrings. That's all right. That is going to be the new puppy training area. Okay. Down a short little hall. It's going to be great. <laughs> it is going to be great. I'm going to adjust you just a little bit more. There you go. All right. Are you good? Yeah. No, 100, good. 100%? Yep. yep. Maybe turn your mic in just a little bit. If I must. Yeah, it looks like it's like shooting up your nose. <laughs> there. <laughs> there you go. All right. Woo. This is the Pit Boss Podcast brought to you by our very good friends at Molly's Place Sporting Goods. MyMollys.com. M-Y-M-O-L-L-Y-S.com. And I know that they're getting ramped up for something you said you've wanted you've wanted to target and, and pursue. And you've laughed at me every time. Well, why? Because it's uh, you shot your turkey with a bow and arrow, and I've never, ever used a bow and arrow. Yeah, and you say, what did you, how do you want to shoot yours? With uh, a bow? No. That's what you've told me? You well, say, it's kind I really of very like to shoot sporting. A- That's all. Oh. Well, anyway, I think you should shoot a bow. Maybe we need to go to Molly's and get you a bow. But anyway, Molly's Place Sporting Goods is getting geared up for turkey season as well as fishing. So, MyMollies.com. Up next, love is crabs to go. Um, the Pitboss F-350 is feeling a little ill, and it may get delivered to us. On, fixed. It's going to yeah, get, you know, well, yes. If it's delivered, it's fixed. But the person said, hey, if I drive this thing down here, how far are you away from that place called Crabs to go? <laughs> I said, well, not far. He's like, it's been like two years since I've been there. I mm-hmm. said, all right. I said, if you want to drive down, I said, but that is where we're going. Crabs to go is easily found on routes 50 and route 589. In Berlin. I thought I saw a squirrel, but it couldn't have been a squirrel. <laughs> it just couldn't have been a squirrel. Uh, up next, love. Duck water boats. Duck water boats. Steve Hoover. Uh, Jimmy Hahn was here this morning, and we were out in the shop looking at the world's largest duck boat, the 32-foot ocean. Well, 32-foot ocean 32. I just say 32 twice there. But uh, If you're interested in a duck boat, call Steve. I actually talked to a fellow this morning. Yeah, it was this morning from Massachusetts. In my mind about boats in general. Yeah, you were out in the rain. Layout boats. You were out in the rain. Well, it was kind of all different ways, and then eventually it was about layout boats and Terry Rose, and then it turned into, "Hey, how do you like that new boat?" And I said, "I like it a lot." Hmm. I was like, "Man, call call Steve up. He will be happy to talk to you." So, Steve Hoover, New Philadelphia, Ohio. Steve, thank you very much. It's DuckWaterBoats dot com. Up next, love. Dirty Duck Coffee. Dirty Duck Coffee dot com. Had to talk with Jay. I had to. I want to think how I, how I want to phrase this. Had to talk with Jay the other day. He called um, locally. Well, I don't know locally, but I can say on in the Atlantic Flyway, the Mid Atlantic. Um, evidently, Dirty Duck Coffee is going to be in Food Line now. So we'll see. Not not every food line. He explained to me how the distribution works, and it was kind of sounded kind of complicated actually. Yeah, so, good. but if you're listening to us and you have a food line near you, you need to check out the coffee section because Dirty Duck Coffee could be coming to your store. And if it does not come to your store, then you need to get on line and visit them at DirtyDuckCoffee.com. We talked a good bit about um, the Pit Boss. Duck boat dark also so, uh, and they're it's got the K cups in so. Mm. Dirty duck coffee cup dot com. Buck and JJ and Buck, thank you guys very much. Up next, love. Duck blind bistro. The duck blind bistro, which we used, we finally have used it in the house. <laughs> it was last weekend. Oh, except, since duck season, yeah. Yeah, except you kind of got. When I say you, I mean uh, I, I guess me too. But we got sidetracked with damn Dookie here on my. Someone on my, showed up just as on my it was, ice ball. As when after I flipped it and they kind of got a little squatched on one side. Yeah, can't who remember did visit us? I don't know, but anyway, know. it is the ultimate outdoor oven. Oh, it was a puppy visitor. Uh, 
who? Puppy drop off. A camper drop off. Oh, camper. When you say puppy, I'm thinking the pen to your left and my I'm right sorry. currently. No. no. The nine beautiful little black things. No, that's what I thought when you said the pup, puppy drop off. I was like, what? Anyway, duckblindbister.com. Check them out. It is the ultimate outdoor oven. And save yourself a couple bucks at the end at checkout. Use the code PITBOSS, P-I-T-T-B-O-S-S-5. Go save yourself 5%, which I know it's not a lot of money, but... It's 5%. It's 5%. So, And if you want, if you, if you don't mind, I mean, you can send me the 5% then. Yeah. I'll be happy to take it. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, love. Come on now. No, I was just How are you going to segue? Through. No, just thinking through. Um, well, yeah, Gunner Kennels, of course. Because. Yeah, kind of excited to get it. Is. It is. Man's Best Kennel, Gunner.com. I talked about it, I don't know, the other day. When, when did I talk? Man, my mind. When did I talk about this? To someone or? Yeah, who did I talk to about it? I think maybe in the carving room. Anyway, uh, there's a package headed, headed our way. I'm very excited to see um, the new items that they have. Mm-hmm. Um, we still need to order some more things, too, to, to totally trick out the T350. I think we need mm-hmm. to get those fans. Yeah. Yeah, hang them on the doors. But it's yep. Man's Best Kennel, Gunner.com. Check them out. Um, and the nine, well, our all our big guys. I'll say all are. We Adult have, dogs, yeah. yeah they, three, they're riding in the Susquehanna edition, Flyway Series edition, Flyway edition, Flyway Series, the Susquehanna, in the tag on the on the T350 says PBHQ, so we call it the PBHQ T350. That sounds like it's a lot. It is a tongue. mouthful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we should call it the T350. <laughs> and the T350, and what, one of these guys... When do they, they go? When do we have to actually pack them up and go somewhere? You, you. Uh, uh, well, the thirtieth is a, um, a hunt test, right? What's well, a training day? Train, a training day, training day, training day. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so we're going to launch. Do you think we're going to pack everybody up that day? Um, I don't know because we also have a camper here that day, which I've got permission to take. Well, we Mr. have Mr. Ruckus Man. We have four of the Susquehanna of the bigs. Yep. In the in the T three fifty already, so. Mm-hmm. As I look to my right, well, actually, we have a, a smaller version of the Susquehanna, but mm-hmm. all those guys aren't going to fit in there. No. I think um, we've got two intermediates. Yeah. It'll work out. We've got plenty of room. Yeah. If if not, then, um, yeah, Dad will go on. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're going to go, too. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Let's, let's refocus, love. Refocus. Uh-huh. Gunner.com, <laughs> man's best kennel. Yep. Get them tie-down straps. Well, they're, out. We're, we're tied down. We'll cinch them babies down in there. We always could just take once if it if the T three fifty is a little cluttered, we could always just throw one on the ground. It's a nice day. We could. They can breathe the air and all that kind of good stuff. We could take the pen. We can do that, yep. <laughs> so honestly. It uh, sounds like a major road trip at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna I wanna finish this. Everyone at gunnerkennels.com. Gunner dot com, Gunner Kennels. Guys, thank you very much for being part of the Pit Boss podcast. So yep. we appreciate we, your support. And we still have a couple more sponsors. But I'm, you know what? I'm not going to call them sponsors anymore. No. Let's call them um, friends. Friends and supporters. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the word sp- sp- sponsor. sound bad. I don't know. It's not fuzzy. Warm and fuzzy? No. No. All right. So I'm not saying sponsor anymore. Just like I would say well, not that long ago, a duck manufacturer boat that would come out of my mouth again. No, it's mm. just his name, his personal mm. name. I, I can say the I can say the boat. Mm. I don't know. I have to rewind that and see. I have to see what I promised Steve. Well, definitely. Anyway, feel the the gratitude from the people that support us. That's for sure. One hundred percent. We hope that we do something for them too. Mm-hmm. So, before we get to the last f- couple friends of the Pit Boss Podcast, mm-hmm. brought to you by our good friends of Molly's Play Sporting Goods. I miss the the old pen that I have, and I know it was rusty. We threw it away at Gams. Mm. Uh, cause it was out in the one storage storage shed, but I, I missed that thing. Cause it, you could fold it all up and take it. This thing, uh, you're yeah. not, this thing, you can't fold up and do that. It was so, the other one was just convenient. Mm. Yeah. It was kind of probably, well, it's, this is pretty light, but it is, it isn't as easy. Well, yeah. That's not going to stack flat. You have to pull all the rods out to put all the all the sides together. You probably do them by twos, and then we have the straps that came with it. We could just yeah. cinch them all together. But I'm saying the old style pen literally mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it just folds. Yep. Yeah, just six one. inches so, thick, and you're done. Yeah, one go. So, all right. Up next, and I was I've been using this a lot. Mm -hmm. Not that I didn't use it before, but no. I've been definitely using it a lot recently yeah. with carving in the shop. Yeah, is solitude. I am listening loud. Mm -hmm. Turtlebox.com. Yep. Again, I don't know that they say it. I haven't taken the time to research. I got sidetracked there. We good? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Um, or one of our holding blinds we have up is looks like it's in need of repair. Uh, I have not done any research, but I'm calling it the ultimate Bluetooth speaker. That's what I'm saying it is. And it is. We have three of them. Yeah. So uh, definitely uh, the generation two that I've been using in the carving room has, has worked out very well. Mm -hmm. uh, even over the, I will say this, all the noise in there actually kind of does hurt my ears sometimes. Depends on the pitch mm -hmm. and frequency. But I've got the bandsaw running. I've got the dust collector hanging from the ceiling i've got the big dust collector with the two bags and then i found that i need to to actually to to just make make my head right i need to i've moved the speaker around different areas that's why when you came in the other day mm. and i was like no oh it went back here because right. it just kind of for my for my own ears yeah i'm rambling listen loud turtlebox.com who's next love the like, mini no, speak. the mini split that was quiet oh the mini yeah, yeah. i don't even hear the only thing maybe you would hear is is possibly the compressor. Maybe we shouldn't say how we have had the thing hooked up and running, but sometimes the compressor mounted on the wall, I'll get you'll hear a little bit of a like vibration. a vibration on the just because I have stuff on the shelf mm. on the inside. Up next, love, and we and you're busy today. You've taken a little oh. bit of time out. Yeah, Wileyville Wagon Town. Yeah. So we have a camper here today, and um, this camper, Mister Finn, his. His owners, his parents, are getting married today in a torrential downpour. But <laughs> I actually feel I felt really bad when you said that. Like, cause it it was it actually now it's not bad. No, but man, it's it off. was the the flagpole across the street's bad. I hope, I hope ours you know survive. But yeah, man, it came down. They were they were mm -hmm. saying possibly two inches. Good yeah. enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit mute for a second. Yep. <laughs> I think I heard it from here. Um, yeah. So uh, we have this fella here today, Mr. Finn. He's kind of not really looking at the puppies he's not interested in them but he's he's uh he's doing a good job it's always this is why i like doing what i do because it is stressful for any pet to be away from its owners uh, we've told the story a couple of times very stressful for us the last time that we went to um australia yeah, that was that, that was stressful. And was, oh my goodness! Yeah, leaving them, we left them in a, like a traditional kennel situation. They did have a big yard, and that was why we chose the place we chose. And we went there and checked it out beforehand, met the kennel staff, and uh, it was recommended to us by someone I had worked with who had worked there and said it was a good place. Um, that said, we arrived that well yeah. the morning of the flight in the afternoon. We and, and ironically enough, it's over at the airport. But we ran over first to drop everybody off to run home mm -hmm. to go back to the airport later yeah. in the day. Good. Sorry. Yeah, we just, the guy, um, the owner actually did not know who we were when we showed up. Bizarre. Yeah. To me, you know, you have your booking sheet, you know who's coming and going, you have a description of the pets, you should be greeting these people by name as they walk in. Um, he didn't know who we were. So it just gave us an uneasy feeling. Time has passed, but so much so, I believe, like he said, no, you're not booked here. Mm -hmm. That's what flipped me out. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. No, I don't have you on schedule. Dude, we were yeah. here. We right. came out like 10 days ago. What right. do you mean? Fax, I had to fax over all the parts and pieces. To, yep. All right? the records, yep. All the vaccine records. So. They gave us some excuse. Yep. Picked the pups up three weeks later. They Never. looked extremely thin. Hmm. Well. The stressful situation. But they were stressed, yeah. So anyway, it, again, it's stressful for any pet to be boarded. But I think in this situation, um, we try to make them feel like uh, one of the pack here, one of the crew. They have free range. They can sleep on the couch or in the cage if they're more comfortable. Um, and, yeah, we just try and keep it as low-key as we can. Whaleyville Wagon Tails. You know, I, I probably let... I say too much. I post too much publicly what we do. Yeah. But yes. That's, but that's me, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So I have to say that we are semi entertaining, possibly. You're looking worried. It's semi entertaining. It's all, it's all, um, it's, a, it's all relative, right? Uh, it just depends on dollar bills. <laughs> that's what this really depends on. Okay. What I'm going to say. Okay. In, into the field of dogs. 
we may or may not put a dog with a professional. <laughs> well, one, it's still my pet, regardless of how well we want it trained. Yes. Two, we're, we're, good. Ching. Okay, I said that. But where I'm trying to go with this is, I'm, it's it's uh, I, I would definitely want to. I know how I want the dog trained to what level, what I would expect to this dog to be trained. Mm -hmm. The other aspect is the dog's away from us. Where is this? What is what's this? This dog's living conditions. Yes, that's where I'm going with this. Yeah, and it, that's that's very important. And it it seems to be that there's many different choices for professionals to how these dogs will live their daily life day in and day out yeah that's all i was going okay going with that's all we don't even know we're going to do this no we don't it could be pinky uh, he could be the field champion he could be he's a good little dog I won't, oh, uh, but i won't say i won't a uh, friend reached out won't say his name reached out about uh he has a little venture to uh, he's buying a boat and maybe would like to just take people fishing, cruising around, want to know more or less from the captain's license perspective, what's what. And this. I thought you said Fred, but it's a friend. Friend, friend a friend. Okay. I'm sorry. Yep. No, not Fred. Uh, I, I, I'm like, I've Fred, been texting Fred. A boat and he's going to no, start no, no, captaining. No, 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 <laughs> like, no. A friend. <laughs> and he has had some very nice animals in his life. Mm -hmm. And his story goes on to say. He shows up for two hours. This woman has raised these dogs for eight weeks, and she knows best, which in her mind, which dog he should take. Mm -hmm. And she said, you want dog A. And he says, me, with my arrogance and ego, I'm there for two hours. And I said, I'm taking B. <laughs> Goes on that the B was a freaking nut job, crazy. And A today I'm not sure where A went, but A is a field champion today. Mm. And that is what he his goal is to have field champions or amateur field champions or <laughs> FC, AFC dogs. So <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But yes, um, really where I was trying to go with that is uh, the dog's living conditions is going to be, it's going to be important to me. Yeah. And I know more than important to you. So Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, yes, we want it to be trained, but, you know, there's another side to the whole training aspect, which is their health and, of you know, physical nature as well as mental. Yeah. I will say the way that we do treat your campers, I think, has <clears throat> not even a year into all this, like it has uh, shown some wear on our or a property. <laughs> it has. I'll put it politely and just say property. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dookie's pretty harsh. So yeah, he's I'd harsh, have to, I'd have to say Dookie is number one culprit of that, you know, between Dookie, his... Dookie don't dig big holes in the yard. No. Well, okay. That would so be your dog. Um, I've seen other dogs <laughs> digging holes in the yard, yes. too. So, just That's saying. That's okay. It's dirt. It's I'm replaceable. It's it is, not but, that big a deal. But, but yeah. it's a level of effort Yes. that you got to go through. Yep. To maintain yeah. something that looks appealing, you know, but functional. All right. Are we done, we done with Whaleville Wagon Tails? Yes. All right. On. Up next is... Pitfoss Waterfowl. You know, got a couple of days left still. I haven't booked any since my, my, my busy three, three by three. Mm, yeah, nine days. Yeah, three by crazy. three days. Yeah, I'm very thankful. Thank you. Um, I, I'm never taking money by Apple Pay. Hmm. Received money, Apple Pay, and I did. It was actually pretty painless. Yeah. yeah. Love it. It was nice. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so probably, actually, here is, my calendar's right in front of me, but I, I'm going to say nine, ten-ish days uh, still for the 20, 24, 25 season, and uh, we're thinking about 25, 26, 20, 25, and 26. So uh, yeah. if anybody's interested in trying to go sea duck hunting with me, uh, we'd love to have you. And... I don't know. As I look around here, and I don't know what else we may offer, but we're trying to offer other things too besides the pseudo con. So we'll yeah. see how see how that works out. But do we cover everything. Yes. Yeah. Who's somebody was the dreaming? I think dreaming. All right, love. Well, I'm not. I'm going to try to. It's going to be difficult for me, and I may just hit my button and turn myself off. I want to know what your what what's your reflection at at four and the Wednesday, they were four weeks. This coming Wednesday, they'll be five. So let's call it four and a half. 
weeks into this. Mm-hmm. I want to know what your right from the from the way back of thinking about doing it, then thinking about trying to breed the breeding aspect, and then you know, is she pregnant? Is she not? Um, something belly dot com. Uh, belly labs. Yeah, bellylabs dot com, mm-hmm. and then actually whelping them, and the whole again like to four and a half weeks. Like I, I just want to know what is what are your thoughts? Just just talk. You you explained to everybody what we what you've what you specifically have been. Um, I guess if we're taking it all the way back, um, we got rye, and the plan always was to we would the plan was to have a litter by her if in my opinion if she passed or checked all the boxes of OFA the DNA and everything else kind of aligned and that she was a good candidate to breed and I still feel the same even going forward with Skoda um she has to okay I'm gonna break my rule and and I want to say sadly you knew all of the other black dogs yes that I had and in in our life that we had Mm -hmm. some of them yeah honestly they in 2013, they were all still alive. Mm-hmm. So you did; they were in your life too. And sadly, you know, you you put them down, which needed to be done. When it needed to be done, it was a very hard decision. So, and and in my mind, you didn't. You never really got to see. You've seen some videos and things, but you never really got to see them do any hunt tests or field trials. No. All right. So. No, nope. I got to bandage Booger's foot. Yeah, <laughs> but that that was kind of the when he broke. That's how I met him. Yeah. <laughs> He hit that. He flew across the yard, hit that damn butterfly bush bent, and I swear to you, he ran right to me like help. Like, oh, I, can, I can remember just he was just running crazy, hit that butterfly bush and just shot him back, and like he broke his foot and he ran like he came right to me for help. Oh, All right, so uh, go. Oh, so so uh, you, you know, never. Bro- bro- <laughs> what? We said, "Hey, let's let's run our hunt test." Yeah. Okay. Well, that, you, yeah, I'd watch some of your videos and the dogs, and and then you kind of introduced me to this concept of hunt test, which it, it's not my world. I mean, I was you know more of the in the veterinary you know theme of pets and a well trained pet and obedience and that kind of thing. So the hunt test, I, I'd, I'd heard about of ag- agility, but not hunt test. So anyway, Jeff talked to me about it, and you know, kind of told me you know some of the concepts and. And, um, and yeah, we, you know, plan was we would train Rye up and see, you know, how far she could get. So, um, yeah, the force fetching was kind of a bit of an eye opener <laughs> originally. Um, but she made it through that and she, she's very nicely force fetched. Um, and yeah, we did a hunt test. Um, well, it was two that we went to, right, to get. Or three. How many? How many did we actually do before she got her junior? It was actually three. But what I want to rewind and mm-hmm. had you ever had to pay for a dog? Never, never. I was always the rescue person. An animal would just, you know, land in my lap, kind of thing. So, so I'm gonna guess that seventeen hundred dollars was absurd to you. Yeah, I was like, this is definitely ridiculous. <laughs> it pays for dogs. There's so many that need homes. Um, but yeah, that said. Jeff, yeah, you know, I said have, you, I didn't have to say the but. Thank you. Yeah, you, you, it. The point was made in that you know what you're getting. We wanted a retriever. Jeff wanted a, a you know a duck dog. Energy. He got a duck dog. You know, she's a retriever. She is <laughs> absolutely a retriever. So, Insane to retrieve. That's all she yeah, wants to do. Yeah, that's what she wants to. Oh, do. She likes to eat too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. Um, go. So, gosh, I don't know where I was, but anyway, got the junior hunter, and then we were like. Okay, well, what's okay. next? So we took four tests, ran the one, mm-hmm. which I wanted you to run. You're like, no. I, I, I was too and, nervous. And I hadn't run a hunt test in a long time. So we got her through that one. Yep. Then there was the double. And you were like, I, I said, come on, just run, run her, Karen. And you're like, no, I, let, you run her first. So I ran her in the, in the one stake, and you ran her in the second stake. And she actually runs better for you. Well, that day, 100%, she ran better for you than me. Yep. And then the fourth one, you stepped up and you ran her the whole time, which you did a great job. Yeah, she yeah she did good. So it was so much fun. I really, really, really enjoyed doing that. If I could get past my nerves a little bit more, but um, 
anyway, wanted to do something further. You know, COVID got in the middle of things. Um, here we are, Rise, uh, we're building this place. We couldn't have her have a litter of puppies at our old place. It just Never. would not work. It was too small. We're on a canal. You know, we had this fear of all these puppies just plopping into the canal. So 100% she could have had the puppies, like, in the, in the house. But the whole, um, oh, man. I don't know what the space. I want to say the schematics. That's not the yeah. word. But lo- logistics, logistics mm-hmm. of it, no. Like it, yeah. out, having to get the pups outside. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, no. So that been this, this is the and we actually passed up. Maybe the so up you. We passed up. She was in heat. This well, I think she was in heat early this year. But anyway, she was in heat when we were at, at Pintail. Mm-hmm. And we're like, no, we can't breed her yeah. because we wanted to breed her. Right. So what did we do? We didn't. Yes. Yeah, so what? Was, so what? <laughs> instead of having eight, nine, uh, seven, eight, nine mouths mm-hmm. to feed, what did we go do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Decided we wouldn't breed her, and yes, um, then scoped a dog. That litter hit it the radar because we get the retriever news. Is that what it's called? Retriever. Retriever results. Results. And there was a litter in there, and all I saw in the litter was that it was Mike Baruby, who was the, the breeder of rye. And then I forwarded it to Jeff. I'm like, hey, look, Mike's got another litter. And, you know, they, you take that over. Do I need, can I correct you? Sure. Okay. This is how it really that happened. happened. That's how, it's not a correction. That's how it happened on my end. Okay, but you're, you're going to say, yes, you're, not that I, I need to be right. But you're going to say you're right. So we get retriever tr- results. The, that woman in South Carolina, here's a, here's a litter. She has, says she has a, f- a male and a female. Mm-hmm. The sire was Gates, which was Diamond's father, mm-hmm. which was Coot's uncle. Dr. Fugood and Gates, I've said this before, I think, were, it, they were litter mates. I text her, and, and she, the dog, no, sorry, it's gone. So you were like, oh, wow. Like, like it kind of put, because I was excited about that, I think you got excited about it. Because Gates was in this litter. You, um, Fred West is out here in the paint shop, in the locker room. You send me Mike, Mike's litter mm-hmm. from Facebook. And I click on the link. It's like, oh, my God, doctor. It's not the, wasn't the sire. It's a grandsire. Gates is a, a grandsire. I said, Karen, look at this. Karen knew that Gates is in here. And you get home, he's like, no. It's no, just, it's that's just why nice. I go back to my simplified version of really what happened. Okay, well, the yeah. litter was on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I don't need to. I don't need to be right. Okay. But like I this the like I love getting that email, especially when there's you you sweet potato hotcakes or whatever was on there last night, right? Sweet potato hotcakes. Yeah, there's chocolates. The chocolates. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like it's it's cool. I, I yeah, like, just I like just, to read. Yeah, I just like yeah. looking at, at the pedigrees. I, yeah. I enjoy. Not that I'm. I can, you know I'm I'm far from a dog guru to know every dog that was out there, but I do enjoy looking at. At pedigrees because of dogs that have been, you know, in, a, in our dogs' pedigrees. Anyway, I love looking at the pedigrees, so that's yeah. that's kind of how that happens. So, so yes. So it's, yeah. So instead of seventeen hundred dollars, how much yeah. do we spend? She too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, so we get Skoda building this place. Skoda's with Jeff all the time because she's she, we got her in eight weeks. Um, and honestly, in hindsight, like. I'm really glad it worked out the way it did because I really think Rye was too immature to handle the litter. I think Skoda yeah. might have helped her mature some, probably. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, we got here. Um, Rye went in the heat. And we're like, holy heck. And, of course, it lands right at Christmas. We had to, we did have to run her up to um, get a progesterone test after, you know, she flatly turned range of danger down the first time we tried to... Um, do a natural mating and um went and got a progesterone test a vet predicted that she would be pretty much come ready to be bred on christmas day <laughs> so which which put me in a panic yeah yeah that we might actually miss out well, yeah. But, yeah to me back in the day it was it, as soon as you saw any signs she was in heat you breed on day 10 and day 12 mm. other people can say differently but that's the circle that i'm in mm-hmm my my uh, Sushal, my dog breeding guru. Hmm. It's day ten and day twelve, and actually Ed and Rich, well, maybe not Richard necessarily, but Ed definitely he agreed too. So day day ten and day twelve, hmm. and I bred Coodle nose, and I don't know which day can't you know I don't know which day the conception was made or the conceptions hmm. were made. Uh, yeah, it worked out both hmm. times really. So 
So yeah, Christmas Eve did the natural. Um, obviously, Christmas Day was out for anyone. Uh, Doug Heyman's kindly said that he would. We could try again, just in case. We were afraid that if we didn't do it again with her on the 26th of December, that if it didn't take the first time, it would be silly for us not to try it again. Um, Ranger, in all his excitement, um, how, you, how are you going to say, say this get politely, it in. love? Um, <laughs> so we ended up, and I had bought a, a minute, fresh I I stepped, AI kit. I think kit. I stepped over you. Good, that's probably a good you thing. Couldn't get it in? <laughs> he was very excited. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, had uh, yeah, Amazon. <laughs> Got a fresh AI kit from Amazon. Mm -hmm. I had that on hand just in case things weren't going to happen naturally. And I had done um, some fresh AI um, collection inseminations at a practice I used to work at in Australia, actually. Um, Manly Road Veterinary Hospital, Dr. Christine Kidd. She is the bomb vet. I love that woman. She was fantastic. Um, in... Uh, Manly, Queensland. So, anyway, um, yeah, we did um, we did inseminate rye there with Doug's help, um, and of course Rangers. And um, anyway, so then we're just sitting, you know, biting our nails to see if she was going to start showing to be pregnant. Because she didn't really, to me, she didn't look. I, and I can't remember. Coop was so many years ago, mm -mm. but I'm thinking like this dog isn't pregnant. Yeah, we were not feeling it. Are, are breasts getting bigger? Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we could not decide. So ended up um, stumbling across this, um, you know, doing some Googling. This test that was actually, it's from Europe, I think. Um, well, definitely Europe. I'm not sure whether it's Britain or where it was from. But um, so Belly Labs. And it is actually a blood test um, that you can run at home. The test, I got it mine a little bit cheaper um, through... Uh, revival I think it's revival sorry um, it's a pet store online they had one on sale for 35 but they're about $45 a kit um, so that the it comes with everything that you need so it comes with this little um, mucosal lancet um, the idea and actually we would use them in veterinary medicine to check clotting times in animals the idea is that you, you sit it on the gum um, you press the um, the lever, the trigger, and it does a little slice on the mucosa. With rye, I just, I have some, have the ability to have some syringes needles, so I actually just drew some blood from her cephalic, her arm to, vein. Do you need to put any other information around that? Do you happen to have needles? Well, yeah. Is it from, from my steroid use back in the day? <laughs> no, not from just steroid. <laughs> you know, it would be from my, my profession, so... <laughs> Um, Time out. Does that dog need to go outside? No, I don't he think went, so. You walked He's over. right behind you. Okay. He's good. All right. Um, I really so wanted, anyway. In high school, I really wanted to. <laughs> I did. All right. Don't sidetrack us. <laughs> so, anyway, so Jeff. You took blood from her. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff held her and got the blood, ran the test. Bingo. Hallelujah. Says she's pregnant. So, she, uh, the earliest she can do it. <laughs> Was it 28, 28 days? days? Yep, I think um, it was 28 days. Which goes for the same set uh, for ultrasound sonograph. But um, obviously that's a little bit more expensive. Um, All right. Hey, he needs to have something done. Love, I appreciate you. I do. Thank you. Besides that, it's not, it stopped raining, so he's he's fine. I know, but right. I just it's don't good. Know. It's good. It's good. It's all good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh. The earrings hurt. I'm sorry. Ow. Ow. So 40, $45 a test? Oh, yes. you're going to just take them out? Yeah, it hurts. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Um, anyway. Thank you. No, get yourself together. Uh, ouch. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So, anyway. Just when we're. Needles, needles and syringes you have. Yes. Yep. Draw the and blood. I did She's, not take steroids. No. Okay. She is positive. The test says she's positive. So we're excited. And it, but it basically, at the same time too, we were kind of thinking. Well, we didn't test her at twenty-eight. We were at thirty-two, I think, when we actually ran the test. By the time I got it, um, yep, she's she's pregnant. So um, at that point, she is kind of looking pregnant. It just kind of confirmed yeah. what we were thinking. What a um, we did it. Yes, and 
there you go. So that was that. She is due on the Sunday of what was it? February, the end of February. Yeah, I kind of need to look at a calendar. That's all right. But uh, she she was due on the Sunday. It was the twenty first that she actually had the babies, uh, the puppies, I should say. But um, she went. We took the dogs out just to take them for a run on the Tuesday. As soon as Rye got out of the truck, she's walking through the park, and then there's this great big glob of mucus on her leg. I'm like, holy heck, what is that? That is nasty. Put her straight back in the kennel. I'm still in the T350 because I was not getting out walking around. Yeah, you're back. I think I could today, though. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so she went back in. By the time we got home, the discharge was dripping from her, and it was a nasty-looking color. It, to me, if you've heard of a pyometra, um, infected uterus in dogs that, um, you know, tend to uh, come into heat a few weeks after their heat cycle, some of them will get an infected uterus. So... Some of them are open pyometras, um, some of them are closed. If it's if it's open, um, it does drip. So this looked like pus. It was gross. So freaking out. It's getting late in the day. Like Jeff, I it's just like four o'clock. Yeah, like it was like about now. Yeah, like Jeff, yep. I, I need to call. I just yep. I, I feel better if we take her. So they said well, you can come over now. Yep, take her straight over. Uh, our friends at VCA in Berlin. Um, we got uh, Dr. Lauren Carlson. She has some ultrasonography skills. She put the probe on, seeing that the pups didn't look distressed, took an x-ray, did some blood work on Rye, make sure that she didn't have any elevated uh, white blood cell count, which might suggest that she had an infection. Um, so everything looked good. Walked out of there with a big whopping bill, but we had peace of mind, so it was totally worth it. Um, Turns out it was your, her mucus plug. Apparently. It was yep. an ugly-looking mucus plug. I can't remember Coots, honestly. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I don't think it was normal still, but it's I, still the puppies are good. I don't remember Coots' mucus plug as much as I remember you know, blue, green, green, blue. Mm. Yeah. And, and like with Coot, like it seemed like it was so, like my so memory, mm -hmm. so much more than what, what uh, Rye had. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with you. I don't think, you know, the amount of um, fluid that was in the amniotic sac for for each puppy was like nothing. Yeah. It was nothing. I, they were kind of dry almost. And that's like to be disgusting, but I remember like in the box and like, again, this you got to remember like this is the first time I'm freaking out because this is my dog and, she, you know, the, these puppies are coming out of her. And like, mm -hmm. I just remember like I would say a gallon came out. Like yeah. it was just like. A lot. Yeah, yeah. like it, it stained my hands. It's all over me. It's it's. What it's hundred degrees or whatever, right? Yeah. Like I just, I just, it's, it's a very vivid. Again, maybe time has uh, changed, you know, the reality of it. But no, I just remember it being a that's lot. Any, any pregnancy, I've, I've even, even C-section or you know, just a, a difficult pregnancy that I've had to deal with uh, with a patient. That's how they've been. Rye was not like that at all. So you know, we we would, we are just thankful that the puppies are all healthy. Healthy, hundred percent. They're all alive, yep. all healthy. Yep. And cross our fingers, you know, they're all going to see eight weeks old. Yep. But leading up to Rye going into labor, um, you know, Jeff's back, of course, was an issue. And he had gotten sick in Harrisburg. And I kept getting on him and on him and on him because mm -hmm. he wanted to buy, he wanted to build the damn Welbin box. And, and I like, did. It's pr And it's yeah. a pretty cool Welbin <laughs> box. Is, it is nice. <laughs> but we had literally just finished it on Tuesday. <laughs> just finished the damn thing and she goes into labor and has puppies wednesday morning at 7 a.m i don't know why you were out of bed like you were out here i can't i can't re i can't recall why you weren't in bed with me yeah i don't know why. if you got up I, I don't know why you got up maybe you know what maybe to talk to australia uh maybe yeah uh, i maybe just because of the time remember. but i'm telling you i'm laying on the bed i think you were Hmm. I'm laying on the bed and I, I, she's in freaking labor. She's laying there next to me and you can kind of like see her contract and like her freaking tail, like, you know, kind of tail would lift up and I'm like, holy shit. You know, <laughs> you came out and you came, you know, came out, I took a video. You're sitting on the, I know that's, you were up early to talk. I okay. know that. And then you were out here and you're like, she's in labor. Yeah. I'm like, Jeff, <laughs> one down. So anyway, that um, was awesome. And she started at 7 a.m. I'd say, in my recollection, six thirty, seven forty-five, seven forty-five. Okay, yep. 
because I had an MRI scheduled. Mm-hmm. And that was, oh, that's that right. was my out. And like that's I waited right. till eight o'clock to call them to say, because mm-hmm. I want to give them a heads up. Mm-hmm. But like I felt like I need, like I think at the call the first time, like they still quote weren't open. You know, nobody mm-hmm. answered. So it, to me, she would have had her first puppet like 745. Yeah, she did. Like right. 740. That. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you probably have it written yeah, down. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 740, 745. It was before it doesn't eight o'clock. Really no, it guess, doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it was before 8 o'clock and like. Like that, I was like, oh, yeah, I can, I, that's my out. Oh, like, there we oh. go. Time of a 7.59. Okay, there you go. That documenting was really good. You're, that's you, not me. No. This is, this is us as a team, because no. it's hard to do by yourself. No. But, yep, 7.59 was um, Little Miss Red came out, first female. Could could be the mash dog. Could be the mash dog. Yep. And then last one out was our little pinky <laughs> boy, and that was at 7.49, so... Just short of 10 minutes short of a 12 hour uh, labor for poor old Rye Dog. But she did great. And at no point, I know if they strain, you know, for an hour and no puppy emerges, you know, red flag, let's maybe do something. She was never distressed. She was never constantly pushing, no puppy um, arrived. So there was quite some time in between them. It was. Yes. It was. But she was calm. She yeah. wasn't in distress. Yep. Um, and again, she wasn't contracting. So. I told the story today to Jimmy Hahn. I've told it to many people. Number eight comes out. Man, we're like, great hug. <laughs> I'm taking a shower. And you were at the sink. I sat down to get on the computer. I'm downloading stuff. And I'll, like, I look over to the box. And I'm like, I hear something. I'm like, maybe I should just, you know, I should get up just to make sure everybody's good. And like, Karen, there's another one. <laughs> right? Oh, it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, because they, they saw on x-ray, they said definitely seven, possibly eight. So when the eighth came out, we were like, oh, thank goodness, we're kind of done here. And then when the ninth came out, then I was panicking, like, so was there a tenth? I was kind of concerned, but thank God there was no more. Yeah, and was time change hadn't taken place. And she went out one time to pee. Yeah. And then Duke went, and like, I even went out with a light, and I was like, oh, my God, you know. Could she have had a puppy outside? But the, and, and truly, the way she was, like she would have, she wouldn't have left it. No. But at least the way she was with these nine. Right? Yeah, yeah. But I did go out there with the Q beam, and like I'm looking, 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 and I'm like, man, I don't see anything, and just mm. you know, just make sure that it was before. If I remember correctly, it would have been before number eight, mm. because then she did have number eight. And I, that's when I was like, she wouldn't have had one outside, was she? Mm. You know, kind of thing. And um, anyway. Yeah, it was crazy. It's your story. No. Oh, so anyway, here we are, four and a half weeks. The thing that has kind of, I guess, kind of got me, not so, I shouldn't say surprised because it, it's here and it's, we've been living it every day, but like the whelping box was a, such a big thing. And then, you know, before you know it, there are like, like two weeks. I'm like, holy heck, we need something bigger. Like these buggers grow so fast. It's insane. And they, we, we had to build up the sides super quick. Um, you know, Jeff added extra uh, height. How, what is it? 12 inch board? Another 12 inch to the side. Yeah. Another, so it was a two foot sides. And, uh, but we left the, yeah, like, like a, a step through for a ride. So she couldn't, but with in little or boards you could put in there. Yeah. Almost like a water like if somebody doesn't understand, maybe like a water structure for an impoundment huh. where you can kind of slide boards down. Yeah. And that's what instead of doing one big board, mm-hmm. did these smaller boards where the really the it was the first one she could step over and then if you put the second one she couldn't she, really Yeah, go. she couldn't she could jump it, but then she could <laughs> land on someone. So we were kinda of always there and we slept on the floor with them all that time. Well Jeff slept on the floor, I slept Blue, on the mattress. Blue's got a poop, man. Go to the other side. His, he's puckering. Look at him. Oh, dude. Go to the other side. See him? See? He's puckering. Oh, yeah. He's got a big one. He's going to drop a big deuce. All right. You want to can you, can you, you get on that? Yeah, because... Yeah. Don't let him. The hive and the mass may be awake now. The um, I would... And Karen... We go, yeah, just let him out on the floor and poop. Yeah. <laughs> Free range pooping here. At Pitbull's World Headquarters slash Pitbull's Kennels. Yeah. Well, the floor, and I, I talked to Jimmy Hahn today about the floor. Um, this this floor is perfect for these these type situations. Uh, and actually, I have to say Chris Wilhelm, too. He said, especially, he knew, you know, he knows us, knows with the dog, knows we have the dogs, knows we have the dogs. Uh, uh-oh. Mama. Yeah. And then he, he's going to try to hook up. Um. They're okay. Did he actually ever poop? 
Well, he was puckering in there. So Karen has left. Not left, but she's demiked. Blue was the biggest of the bunch right from the get-go. He's, for, I bet you for a good two weeks, he was the heaviest. I can't say biggest. He was definitely the heaviest dog. And now that everybody's kind of caught up, and he's not necessarily. He's not. And Karen's got him in, a, in her arms. Uh oh. If you're watching on YouTube now. <laughs> you know, did he poop? No. He sure looked like he had to. Yeah. Um, nobody can hear you, though. <laughs> Uh, if you would like to see more puppy videos, more puppy reels, more puppy shorts, you can get on, actually you can get on YouTube and or um, in Instagram and Facebook too. Everywhere, everywhere. All right, now you're going you're gonna to piss them all off because Blue's out and nobody else is. Now the other ones are going to get, yep, here they come. This is... What's happened for, well, I can't say it's happened for the last 14 and a half weeks because the first two weeks, they were not this needy. And Rye's been an, I will say, you can, you can say what you want to say. To me, Rye's been an awesome mom, just really right from the get-go, very concerned, taking care of them, yeah. you know, licking them so they pee, cleaning poop. Yeah, she all, made our job easy. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yep. No, it's been... Yeah, it's so much. It's like Christmas. There's so much build up, and then you know, blink and it's over. And then you know, in four weeks' time, some of these guys are going to be gone. <laughs> some. <laughs> some. Love. Are there any puppies, males still available? Yes, if some somebody males. would love, mm -hmm. love to have, like to have, what I consider to be. And I had somebody from Colorado today because I, I sent all the pedigrees. Like, wow, those are some nicely bred dogs. Mm. Uh, they're definitely American dogs, field dogs, American high dogs. High energy, yeah. yeah, high energy dogs. But they're they're breeding on paper. They look very very nice. Which I I told Jimmy and his daughter today because he wants something to retrieve ducks. Like I mean, in theory, like they all should be really nice dogs. I mean, yep. if you want to put an asterisk next to somebody, you know, Pinky was number nine. He he was he is he 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 is and still is smaller than everybody else, but. He's except, not far behind. Except for looking like a space alien with his eyes. <laughs> like he looks, he's, he's a nice dog. There's nothing wrong with him. You've, you've made sure that he is, has survived because you actually, you gave many of them bottles, but he was the first one that you bottle fed. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's Bluey on me now. Yeah. yeah. Well, four weeks. So on Wednesday, um, Green, one the, the smallest girl was 4.76 pounds, and Pinky was 4.3. So okay. yep. he's um, he's quickly, quickly caught up. And what was so on that same day? What was the biggest male? 5.5. Um, roughly the biggest five was, four. I just remember there was three that were over five. It was black. Black. Yeah, 5.56. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, it's uh, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. I'm I'm gonna miss it miss it when they're all kind of you know growing and we get to the new stage of teaching them you know potty training and all that stuff. But we did the ENS. We were consistent with that from day three through sixteen. Um, that's the early neurological stimulation. Um, we tried to expose them to people to. You know, Skoda's been really good with them. Actually, she's she's you got to watch her, but for the most part, she um, plays with them. She really does. She yeah. may like. I think she doesn't have. I use the word finesse. Like, like she kind of wants to bat them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, and they're not. You know, they're not big enough to be batted, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the only thing I see that she does. She flea bites them. She licks them. You know, she rolls over, kind of sub sub submissive to them, to whatever degree. <laughs> <laughs> So Bluey has walked over to the, the plane cave. through the fence. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck, Karen. He's stuck. Okay. He got his teeth stuck kind of in the, in the wire. So he was trying to bite the ones on the inside, and they were trying to bite him outside. And the, the wire... Is he okay? Yeah. The what? You know, just like he's... Yeah, he cut the wires. Oh, so she says that the puppies are still kind of bendy. She does say that. You've told me this many times, even like with Scoter. When Scoter was eight, well, eight, we got her at eight, nine, ten weeks old, 
when something happens to her, you know, she is still, the bones are still sort of semi-flexible. I can't remember what happened to Scoter. Yeah, but I thought something like when she was like like ten weeks old, and you're like, ah, oh, she's fine. Like their bones are bendy, but but all right. And Blue is now yawning, so he evidently is okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's fine. He's and, fine. And for those who watch it on YouTube, yes, I I started to move, but you moved before me, so he's good. We can do a replay on that, but I poor guy. I saw I saw them doing it, and I was just thinking, like, you know, don't. Turn your head and bingo, turn his head. head. Yeah. Well, shortly they should be. Their heads probably won't. That won't be able to happen. That's maybe. true. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Um, all right. Keep going, love. I don't want to. I have interrupted your story many, many times, but I don't want to interrupt. Um. Yeah. We just. We need to. We. We. We keep going back and forth with with which puppy we think we might like to keep because again the whole reason we did this was we wanted one of Rise puppies. We wanted a female, um, but we have kind of made the pact that we're going to wait till they're six weeks of age, yeah, and make a decision. I, I was so so Jeff up on PEI Prince Edward Island, Canada. They are going to get female number two, mm -hmm. and we were texting a little bit today about that. What is she doing? She's acting a little goofy. Well, Finn's over there barking at somebody. Then Rob was act reacting kind of strangely. Yeah, she didn't like that. What's what's he barking at? Can you see anything? He's barking at something. Scoter, uh, that's Karen, is, again, de-miked. Scoter got kind of weird. She was jumping at the door. Uh, Finn, the camper, is, he's barking at somebody out there, and it kind of wigged her out a little bit. She didn't, whatever the bark sound was, she didn't like it. Yeah, uh, Jeff and Judy are getting female number two. Uh, I was texting with him today, actually, as I was carving some decoys, and I'm still I'm still distracted. Sorry. No, I told him the same thing. I was like, man, like today, you know, tremendous amount of rain. Last week we did get him outside a couple times. Yeah. Nice, nice sun. You know, it was like seven. One day it was seventy-seven. That's awesome. Yeah. Which it's not 50 degrees, and it's going to be on the cooler side, you know, for the next week or so. Plus, you know, plus the rain today, everything is very, very wet. But I told him I'd like to get, you know, get them out later in the week, and just kind of really see. Even told Jimmy the same thing. If you guys, they want to stop back later in the week, and you know, we can get them outside and kind of interact. They're fine to run. I mean, they have plenty of room in here to run, but like the furniture kind of, I think, impedes them a little bit. Of like, there's other things in here that they're interested in, yeah, not yeah. not just being out there by themselves, right? And, you know, so you can kind of see who's who's who and who's doing what so yeah but we have um someone else coming tomorrow right to to check out the third they get, they're, they're getting a female um and then uh yeah uh, one uh, a male's going to i think blue's going to ohio mm -hmm. and it's evidently jimmy's going to take orange i think so um oh. yeah that, well it's good yeah it is we can't keep them all <laughs> we can't keep them nope all. We can't, but Did hopefully we'll get to follow along with whoever takes them, and they'll send us maybe some pictures or something. It would be nice. But Matt Wilson, East Coast Waterfowl Mafia, and Maritime Dog Trainer on Instagram. He he actually has my topper, mm. and sometimes I do kind of think like there was a good there was a good gap in there. I did not need to topper, but I do kind of think hmm. Like maybe you know, I do question getting rid of the topper. Mm. Six, yeah. but hold six. But anyway, the van, the van is more of. It's nice. Yeah, it's more of I think for for our future. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with driving and traveling and being able to kind of stop and relaxing. And, yeah, all of us together traveling yeah. distances. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I do question getting rid of the mm. topper. Nah, it's good. Um, something in all of that. It's been a learning experience. Has been, uh, you know, registering the litter with AKC. Still got a little bit more to do. We've got the microchips um, through the AKC, so we'll we'll um, implant those getting closer to eight weeks of age. Um, you've you've warmed them twice. Yep, deworm them twice. We'll do them again at six weeks. Again at eight weeks. <laughs> Purple just stuck his paw into the water bowl, oh, and then, the he, then he and then he just picked it up and like went ah. Uh. <laughs> I think he's pooing. Mm. Um, but yeah, I still got a little bit more to learn with finishing up this registration of the litter. So. Purple and red are hanging out together. Oh. Future brother and sisters, I'm guessing. 
Not that they're not brothers and sisters right, right. now. Yeah. That'll be part of the Coates family. That'll be the Mash Dog and the Weller Dog. You good with that name? Yeah, you, you, haven't, you haven't asked me. You haven't called me out on it. I don't know. I think it's cool. Well, uh, there's there are so many Wellers, though. Okay. How many Scoters are there? Not, there's probably more than what you think. Really? Mm-hmm. Scooter girl. But anyway, it's been fun. Um... I don't, we're not going to breed Rye again. This was, you know, just a. She's done. She she's good. She gets to live her days now, retrieving tennis balls, and hopefully would like to we get her to get run a Lisa up. senior. Yeah, we get her to run a blind. Yep. Yeah. You know, start her training back up when she's uh, back in shape here, post pregnancy. S- speaking of running a blind, what have you? There's one thing you witnessed when I went down, but except for that, what have you witnessed? Uh, just. L- Progression. Yeah, with yeah. Skoto, yeah, yeah, it's been fun, actually. Yeah. She's doing great, I think. I think she's doing really good. Um, she, you know, she loves to retrieve, of course, but uh, she does, you know, she wants to please as well. Um, she's very responsive, you know, to Jeff when he uh, provides us some you know, verbal praise. Um, definitely some confusion, which, of course, is just going to be part part the course of, of training, but... Um, once she gets it, she gets it. Yeah, like, she understands. Gets it quick. Yeah. So it's that's been fun to watch. But I guess, I guess technically, if I was a hardcore dog trainer, I'd still get her, her reps in tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna let her take a day off. A break. Yep. Especially me too. Going down yesterday and whatnot. <laughs> My left knee is recovered. It's not sore anymore. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> That was tough. Unexpected. I didn't nothing went as planned with yesterday's training session. Karen videoed it, videoed it, and I wanted to send Geoff and Polly a video and, and the more because I anyway I just didn't I never sent it to him. It's one of those bloopers that you said you can see my butt crack and you can't. You can see skin on my back. I don't. I can't see any butt crack. Okay, okay. but I did go down pretty. I was I was actually shocked. Mm. I didn't expect to go down. Yeah, because she's just a little thing. <laughs> she pulled you over. Oh, my Lanta, I'm sorry. Mm. What are your, Any other thoughts? What are your thoughts? Who's barking? Well, we're going to be getting... The, the next thing we're going to... Hopefully the next nice day, next opportunity we get outside, we're going to be introducing them to some Skoda wings. We have a bunch of those. And we do have a mallard. Mm-hmm. We gotta we gotta get that out for Scooter anyway. Yeah, yeah, and she's gonna get one hopefully, uh, training day. She'll get one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. It's a, it's a, well, I, again, I kind of I, I tried not to talk, but it's hard for me not to do. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'll smack you. Not oh, hard. that's the other thing we've got to work on. Not so hard. Sitting not on. hard though. But mm-hmm. I'll smack you. Mm-hmm. This is the the puppy purchase agreement. Yes. Good lord. Mm. Reading reading those online, some of them are kind of crazy. Some of them are just a kind of nothing. But yeah. trying to find one that suits us. Oh. Uh, it's been a cool. I, I, again, like I tell some somebody, anybody, nobody, that like one time in your life, man, you have to do this. No? You sound like well, people that would come in to the veterinary hospitals and say, I really want the kids to experience her having puppies. Like, no, that you should not do this. It is work. There is no doubt this is definitely some work. And it's costly, too. Okay, well, I'm, you know. Taking it down a track you didn't want to. No, I, like that's... What? I, that doesn't bother me. What's that? Money. Oh, no. The cost Just of it. bothers me. Well. But, yes, it is definitely... It's an awesome experience. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, absolutely. All of a sudden, here's this little life that pops out, and it's freaking alive. Yeah. That's just you know, it's like it can't see, it can't hear. It's in, yep. I don't know, whatever. All the different fluids that are on it, and mm-hmm. all of a sudden, man, it's like she licks a little bit, and it, what's wrong? Yeah, oh. no, it, like the, the <laughs> tripled their weight in in yeah. four weeks. Yeah, but I mean, it, yeah, like and it, pop, it pops out play. of her. She licks it a couple of times, and now it just hooks up and starts m- drinking from her, like yeah. instantly. Like it is crazy. It, it knows, she knows, mm-hmm. like it just happens. It's a, it's a it's, it's a really cool experience. It is incredible. It is incredible, but um, yeah, just you know, thinking, Skoda was born in January, 
was it 15 months ago, she was doing the same damn thing these guys are doing. And now she's out there, you know, learning how to run a blind. I think, I think, I think she remembers this. That's why she plays with them. She, she leaves there and she, oh, I remember when I was this old. <laughs> She's doing so good with it. Like, she'll, she'll grab a toy and kind of, you know, give it to them and see if they'll grab it and the slight tug of war. She don't like when they have her toys. No, she does. She wants to give it to them. Mm, okay. I think she likes it. All right. Well, they're just going to get bigger and better as days go on. I hope. I don't know who's that looking at. I think it's Brownie. Yeah. No, I don't know. Yellow. Greeny. It's Greeny. Greeny. Okay. Yeah. Jeff and Judy thinking of who we are. Um, but yeah, we don't we don't know which we don't know how it's all gonna shake out. <sighs> no, nope, but yeah, there'll be plenty more posted yet until they all find homes. Sure. So if you are listening to us for the first time and you would like to see more puppy action, get on Instagram at pitboss P I T B O S S Waterfowl and or YouTube.com forward slash Jeff, J E F F C O A T S, Jeff Coat. So all the videos are up there. And on oh, YouTube. That, didn't I say? Did you? I thought you said Instagram. I'm sorry. Instagram first and then the YouTube.com forward slash ah, sorry. Jeff Coat. You know, C O A T S. Something I wanted to bring yes, up what? about what, what, the YouTube. What, 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 what? You had pointed out this morning because there was one video that did get a bunch of views. Some of the comments were. Um, are we a puppy mill? Oh, oh, this is just a puppy mill. I, like, I, re- I replies, this is our house or this is yeah. our living room. These puppies like, are... It's such a... Like, if you've seen a puppy mill, you would know that this is not a puppy mill. Like, check out Puppy Mill, Pennsylvania. That's, I mean, and I say Pennsylvania because that's where we get a lot of the puppy mill puppies from in this area. Um, no, this is not a puppy mill. <laughs> this has been a lot of research. I just usually reply, it's our house. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> a lot of care, a lot of time and effort has gone into this litter, and it's a one-time thing for our rye dog. Um, no, we did not do this look, for the look, money. Look at Pinky. Look at him. What is he doing? He thinks he's running in his sleep. Oh, he's sleeping. He was like, he was. <laughs> did you see him? No, I missed. Oh my it. goodness, he was really going at it. Oh, so cute. All right, thanks you love, and thank you. The listener. Yeah. Thank you on YouTube and all the other platforms that you can hear this on. So we appreciate you following along with us. Thank you very much. This is a last word slow. No. Nope. Because I'm I'm in it. We're good. Go. This is the Pit Boss Podcast brought to you by our very good friends at Molly's Place Sporting Goods. My Molly's.com. Crabs to go. Crabs to go.com. Duckwater boats. DuckOrderBoats.com Dirty Duck Coffee DirtyDuckCoffee.com Duck Blind Bistro DuckBlindBistro.com Gunner Kennels Gunner.com Turtle Box Not lastly and not leastly but TurtleBox.com Listen loud TurtleBoxAudio.com Possibly I bet you if anybody if Google's Turtle, Turtle Box, Box is going to pop up. I would think up. so, too. So I'm going to say TurtleBox.com. It is TurtleBoxAudio.com. Thank you, love. Whaleyville Wagontails. WhaleyvilleWagontails.com. And Pit Boss Waterfowl. PitBossWaterfowl.com. Is that good? It was good. All right. Looking forward to the rest of the month of March and getting into April. Yep. Lots of things going Keep on. Keep up the busy decoy making. I was just going to say, too, yeah, if anybody's interested in, in uh, decoy carving, Again, Instagram or YouTube and check them out. So mm-hmm. check the videos out. Check me out. Check us out. Yep. Place your orders for this coming duck season. 100%. Love. I love you. Thank you very much. Love you've you. been more, more than, more than, you've, you have more than in these puppies than I do. 100%. Mm. My pleasure. Seriously. Thank, thank you. Salute. Boom. Cheers. Oh. Hit, hit my cup. Boom. Calories. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out. Pit boss, 25 years. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see what we're going to do with Yetis, right? Yep. Okay. And plus some other things. Yeah. All right. All right, love, I love you. Thank you very much. This is the Pit Boss Podcast brought to you by our very good friends at Molly's Play Sporting. As always, thinking of you, we are. <laughs>